hate to say it to you, but you beat me. So, <laughs> we have this competition, and this knot here that I do, very fast, I can beat Ben, Ben's knot takes a very long time, and sometimes in, in, in many copolymer lines like Maxima, Rio, Scientific Angler, Tippet material, this is 100% knot strength. So I can do this knot like this very easily. <coughs> I don't have to look to see the, to do this knot. And when you pull it, it breaks here <coughs> or here. It doesn't break at the knot. So there's not many uh, there's not many knots that I'm aware of that you can do that. Does anyone know any knots that are 100% strength? Good. Thanks, Ben. So, and for me, this is very, very fast knot to do, you know, any penny knot. So let me show you the penny knot. And this knot, I can leave as a loop knot too. If I put something in here before I pull it tight, and if then I pull this knot really tight, and lock it and take this out, this now is a loop. So it presents the fly better, much, much better for the dry fly. The clink hammer, you know, the clink hammer has to sit curved under the water, and this is better. And for jigging action, this is better. So, I like this knot because it's quick to tie, 100% strong in a lot of copolymers, not with fluorocarbon, and it can form a loop knot. So now I'm going to teach you this knot. How strong will that be compared to perfection knot? 100%. So, if I tie my knot here, and you tie perfection knot here, mm -hmm. yours will break if we pull, yours will break, not mine. 100%. This line will break first, not the knot. Perfection every time at the knot. Mm. So maybe it's 80%, 85%. So, <coughs> let me teach you this. With most knots that you're probably familiar with, you go through the eye of the hook and you get this piece here. This is called tag end and this one is called standing line in knots. You get the tag end and you wrap it around the standing line maybe five, six, seven times. And then you go through this one here. Most people are familiar with this knot. What's it called? Finch knot, give him $50, Simon. <laughs> so this other knot, just let me show you first. I go through the eye of the hawk, which we all have to do. You can't tie it on otherwise. And then I bend this in half. So now I've got two pieces here. Not one that goes around, say, five times. I've got two pieces. I just put around one, two. And now I put the tag in through this one. Well, look how big it is. Much better. And then we slide it down and lock it. So to me, this is very simple for you to remember, you know. We go through the eye, bend it over so we've got double thickness, one around, two around, and back through here, yeah? So let me teach you a fast way to do it. I have two children, little ones, like this, Lockie and Maddie. Well, they're bigger than that now, actually, it's a lot. <laughs> but when they were little, I used to come home after my casting schools, and I put them to bed, and sometimes tell bedtime story, and we play shadow puppets. So if I get their lamp and shine against the wall, if I make a fist, in my house anyway, I don't know about Malaysia, if you make a fist and put these two fingers up, the shadow on the wall is Bunny Rabbit. Bugs Bunny. What's the noise Bugs Bunny makes? <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> so, so the shadow is Bugs Bunny, right? If you make a fist and put these two together, this is Daffy Duck. This is Duck. And the shadow does look like a duck, especially if you open and close it. So we've got two ducks in my house. We've got Boy Duck and we've got Girl Duck. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> if I go through the eye of the hook, and if I make this double over, I have a loop here, yeah? If you all look this way, I have a loop. If the boy duck sticks his head in the hole, the beak, the beak of the boy duck, not girl duck, boy duck in there, once around the tree, twice around the tree, eat the worm. <laughs> So I want you all to show me this, just like I do it first, then I want you all to do it. Two fingers. One, yep, two, 
I hold this one. Boy duck in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, twice you around done. there. One, one, two. Now eat the worm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now just while. Mm -hmm. I put this around here. Is this around here? Yep. <laughs> Rob, come on, do it. <laughs> Australian, Australian thumb. Go on, go. This is Australian thumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so, Ben Fu, he shows me this knot, my, my two year old daughter does this knot standard for it, tying up anything and it's stronger than my knot, I can't believe it, but you need Ben to teach you this one, so I'm going to do, oh yeah, show you, so, so there's the uh, loop of line, Double piece, we only got to wrap it around there twice. That would be very clever if I could do that. Never thought about that. You ready? <laughs> this is a magic trick. One, one, two, and. <laughs> I'll practice that then. <laughs> so, there's the loop. Duck goes through bird feet. Not like this. If, you, if you're talking duck like this, you go like this, you put your hand. Just this two, that's all. One, two, eat the worm. So now. I can have this anywhere here, and we can work on this knot if you like. You know, you can push this one back in the hole, like go back in the hole, get in there. there. 